Since the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One came out, your five-year-old gaming PC may be beginning to feel like a gaming relic. But the great thing about gaming on the PC is the inherent flexibility. And we're gonna explore that flexibility as I show you three ways to enhance your PC's gaming performance. Solution one, upgrade your graphics card drivers. This is the simplest way to increase your performance. So this is Skyrim. It's running at medium settings at 1920 by 1080 resolution. And as you can see, it's running pretty smoothly. This isn't the most taxing game, and also, I don't have the settings set too high. But you can always use better performance, and downloading the latest drivers can ensure that you're running as optimally as possible. Now our graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTX. So we're gonna go to nvidia.com right quick. We're gonna click on drivers, go to GeForce drivers. We're gonna select GeForce Series 9, cause that's what we have. Make sure we have Windows 7 64 bit, cause that's what we're using. And then we're gonna click start search. Now we're gonna click on the latest graphics card drivers. So we're gonna click agree to download and now it's downloading. So once it's downloaded, we're gonna double click to install. Click yes. Click okay. All right, so now we've installed the latest drivers and we're back in Skyrim. We're looking at the same scene we were looking at before and I'm not seeing much difference at all. And that's the thing about graphics drivers. You're not gonna see a huge dramatic difference by downloading the latest drivers. However, what they can do is make your game more compatible with your graphics hardware. Solution number two is to optimize your game's settings. Now I have a game called Sleeping Dogs here running on my older graphics card with the latest graphics card drivers. Now the game looks pretty good. It's running at a decent frame rate. However, the textures and the lighting are set pretty high. The lighting is pretty dramatic. There's shadowing on the characters. There's, the, you can see the shadows of the fans on the ceiling, on the floor. However, it's not as smooth as I would like. I feel like it's not as responsive as it should be. Like my button presses don't correspond one to one with my actions on screen. Now there are two ways to address this. The first is to go into the actual game settings and change the settings manually. The other way is to download an application that'll do it for you. So we're gonna go into Sleeping Dogs display settings. So we're gonna take the settings down to the lowest possible level or turn them completely off. I'm gonna go through each one and take the settings off or take them to the lowest possible level. I'm gonna save the settings. So I'm gonna go back to the game. So you see that the shadows are gone. You don't see the fans' shadows on the floor. The detail in the backgrounds are gone and you don't see as much lighting on the characters. However, the game is a lot smoother. It's more responsive to my button presses and it just feels from a gameplay perspective a lot, uh, a lot tighter. Okay, this might be a little too plain for some of you, however, so what you can do is you can go back to the settings and then start turning on different options one by one and seeing how they affect your game. Your goal should be to have a smooth experience while still having an aesthetically pleasing game. Solution number three is to buy and install a new graphics card. Now this is the most dramatic way to increase your graphics card gaming performance, but also the most costly. Graphics cards can cost anywhere from $150 to a whopping $3,000. And of course, the more you pay, the more dramatic the performance increases are gonna be. Now ideally, you want your game to run about 60 frames per second. However, we have a six-year-old card here, so we have to turn a lot of the graphical effects off. So we're running 30 frames per second here, which is good for gameplay, not as optimal as 60, and also the game just isn't as pretty as it can be. Muddy textures, simple lighting, you don't even see a shadow below her. There's no real lighting on top of her. It's all light maps, it's not real lighting. The wind is kind of blowing in the background. You see a little bit of mist, but not much detail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade our graphics card in order to get better performance.
So now I have the new graphics card installed. This is Tomb Raider running at the same exact settings as my old card. See that the detail is the same, but the spring rate is much smoother. But what I'm gonna do now is turn the graphics settings all to their highest possible settings, just to see how far we can push this card with this game. And wow, that is a huge improvement. Look at the lighting, look at her hair, look at the textures. And the frame rate holds up. It's really still smooth. Like her model just looks much more realistic than it did before. And the lighting on her is also much more realistic. And like I said, just as smooth as it was on the old car with the really, really low settings. This is really impressive. See all the mists? See all the detail here? Looks really, really nice. Even the detail of the dust and rubble kicking up under her feet. I really like that. Now I've given you three different options to help improve your PC gaming, so hopefully one, if not all of them, will help you do just that.